Hi guys, it's Valerie in here. I hope you're doing great. I want to get my Kiwi Isai in the ground. If you guys remembered when I made the video about the plants that I got on sale in Toronto, this is one of them. And so um, I am going to put it in the ground before I go in tonight. If you're going to plant something, you want to know something about it, right? And so I did my research so that I have an idea what to expect from the kiwi or what I need to do to give the kiwi its best life. Now, I mentioned before that it is good for a zone four. So I wouldn't take it in any in a zone two or three for example, because it may not do well because it's colder. The next thing is Kiwi Isai is a climber. So you have to make sure that you have enough room for it to grow. It can climb for anywhere from 12 to 20 feet high and 3 to 5 feet wide. So make sure you have room for your kiwi before you decide to buy a plant. The next thing is, it is self-pollinating. So it doesn't need a partner to bear fruit. It pollinates itself, which means I'm in good standing because I didn't buy a second one. So that's a very good thing for me now. Talking about pollination, when your kiwi starts bearing fruit, it will bear fruit on the previous year's growth, right? So if you're thinking of pruning your vine when it starts bear or after it has started bearing, make sure that you don't cut off the previous year's growth because the next year you won't have any fruit. Also, you can expect to get fruit from your kiwi um, anywhere from two to five years. And that's considering from the kiwi was planted initially at the nursery. It doesn't mind having full sun or partial shade. And in saying that, we're talking about location. So let me just mention the soil. It doesn't like the soil to be be very wet medium moisture and medium acidity alkalinity is said to starve the kiwi of nutrients what you can do to make sure your soil is stays acidic is just to use some pine needles and mulch around your kiwi plant the pine needles actually makes the soil acidic. Okay, so I think it's now time to put the kiwi in the ground. And I'm going to be planting it right here. I have this stone here. I pulled it away a bit so I get a little space here to plant it because I have this pole here. With, it's it was a, it's an old umbrella right so my intention is to have my kiwi grow up this pole and spread at the top there i will be putting some type of wire or some type of mesh or something up there between the rods at the top but the kiwi is not going to get up there quite yet, so that can stay first. So let me just go ahead and get my gloves on and start digging. I'm just breaking up some pine needles in the hole before I put the kiwi plant in. This helps with the acidity of the soil.
okay so my hole is deep enough i dug the hole just deep enough so that when i put it in the dirt won't come on top of the soil here because the last thing i want is to have new dirt on top of the soil here and for it to run the risk of um, causing the vine here to rot so I've made sure that the hole is just about here on the plant as it is also I'm not just gonna stick it in the hole I am just gonna trouble the roots a little bit because the idea is to allow the roots to grow out in different directions there is a thought that if you put the plant in the hole just like you take it out of the container you run the risk of the roots just going keep going around and binding on themselves so doing this allows them still to start going in different direction and take root easier there we go now after i am finished here what i'm going to do is put some more pine needles on top usually i put water in the hole but the soil is pretty moist here so and the kiwi that was sitting in the pot got rain recently so it was pretty moist so i'm not gonna worry about it put in water in the hole before I put it in just make sure I pack the soil around it nicely and I'm not gonna put any new dirt on top here just around and I'll make sure that the soil where the kiwi is does not dry out i'll keep watering and make sure it stays moist not excessively because i don't want it to rot but i don't want it to dry out the area to dry out either because i need the roots to get established after that i don't have to water so more so much okay so that's good just gonna go ahead now and put some more pine needles around the plant okay and i'm just pour a little water on top I'm gonna take the two vines that I have here and I'm just gonna kind of weave them together and then I'm gonna put this on the stick that's climbing up the pole that's actually leaning against the pole that I want the kiwi to climb on and I was planning on tying it to the stick but it has taken quite nicely to the stick which means that I shouldn't have a lot of problems for it to climb up so what I have growing here already are just some pole beans and uh, climbing nasturtium my kiwi isai is in the ground and I'll give you guys update just as soon as there is enough of a change in it for you guys to see i think it's about time to pack it in now and go inside let's hope that my hubby is looking about some supper for me <laughs> guys thank you so much for subscribing to the channel i appreciate it so much i appreciate you immensely thanks for watching the videos liking and sharing also please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts if you have watched this video or you have watched other videos from my channel please just go ahead and hit that subscription button and remember to hit the notification bell icon so, 
so you can be notified of new videos thanks again so much and you take care now i'll see you in the next video